Hi, I'm Teacher Thomas. Welcome to A-Level Maths. We're looking at the specimen paper for the 2020 exam series, Paper 5, Probability and Statistics 1, Question 6. A group of eight friends travels to the airport in two taxis, P and Q. Each taxi can take four passengers. Requirement A. The eight friends divide themselves into two groups of four, one group for taxi P and one group for taxi Q with John and Sarah traveling in the same taxi. Find the number of different ways in which this can be done. My first observation is that we're looking at groupings. We're not looking at arrangements. In other words, the seating arrangement doesn't matter, so we're dealing with a combination scenario. One way we can consider this scenario is to think about two options for John and Sarah. So let's look at John and Sarah in Taxi Q. Of the four seats in Taxi Q, two are taken by John and Sarah, two remain. Out of the original group of eight, John and Sarah are no longer available for choosing, so we have six choose two. Again, we're using combinations because the order or the arrangement is not important. What happens in the other taxi, which is Taxi P, is four seats are available and four people are available for those seats. Four choose four. Now that value ends up being one, but I'm going to include it in my calculation for the sake of completeness to show that I'm considering the combination of these two combination scenarios. What's happening in P along with what's happening in Q. Multiplying, we end up with 15. The other possibility is that John and Sarah go in taxi P. Taxi P will be 6, choose 2, and Taxi Q will be 4, choose 4, which again will result in 15 options. When we add 15 plus 15, we arrive at 30 different ways in which this can be done. Let's continue on to requirement B. Each taxi can take one passenger in the front and three passengers in the back. Mark sits in the front of Taxi P, and John and Sarah sit in the back of Taxi P, next to each other. Requirement B, find the number of different seating arrangements that are now possible for the eight friends. Note in this requirement we're dealing with arrangements. The order does matter, so we're working now with permutations. Starting with Taxi P, three of the seats are taken, one is available, so of the group of eight, five remain, so we will have a permutation of 5p1. I'm going to multiply this calculation by 2. Times 2 reflects the fact that John and Sarah are sitting next to each other. They could either be in the left two seats or the right two seats. Two different options. Again, I'm going to multiply by 2 because the two seats that they occupy could either be John, then Sarah, or Sarah, then John. Two different options. So 5P1 times 2 times 2. Then I'm going to multiply by what's happening in Taxi Q. In Taxi Q, we have four seats available for four remaining people, which is 4 p 4, and when we multiply out 5p1 times 2 times 2 times 4p4, we have 480 different seating arrangements. This completes the requirements for 9709 Specimen Paper 5, Question 6.